What's up, y'all? This is your boy Tim, aka Turtle T, and I know I haven't done a video in a long time, y'all, but I'm trying to get back into it. You know, I've been down, going through some things, but um, I'm here for my fans, and you know, I appreciate y'all waiting, and I appreciate everything y'all do for me, and uh, keep watching the videos that I posted up in the past. You know, um, a lot of y'all been checking out that cinnamon challenge video. And I appreciate that, you know. Um, watch Respond and pass it on. Just get more people into it. Um, I'm going to try to get y'all some more videos here real soon. And like I said, I'm sorry I haven't. Um, it's just something I really just got to get into and uh, start up again. But um, today I will be talking about uh, the bad parent. Bad parenting. So... Sit back, relax, and uh, let's see if it makes you laugh. I'm always going to jump right into it today, and uh, you know. So, let me just start off by saying first, I don't have kids. I don't have any kids. For my viewers who do know me, and for y'all who don't, I just want to let y'all know. Second off, I feel personally that having an absentee parent is not a reason for you to be a shitty parent. And, in fact, that should show you what to do and what not to do for your kids. And I know, personally, for me, with my dad not being able to be there 100% of the time, it's going to show me, you know, different things and what not and what not to do, you know. And that's just the way it is. Um, but shout out to my dad. Shout out to Corey B. Shout out to Rude Boy. Shout out to Chelsea. Uh, big shout out to Chelsea. She made my fan page. Yeah, you know, she hooked me up, y'all. So I'm gonna put that at the end, and I might put it in the description. We'll see. But um, it's Facebook.com/slash Turtle Tim with two M's. So it's T U R T L E T I M M. So yeah. All right. Let's get into it. This is just what I see. This is what I notice about. The parents nowadays, so a lot of the younger parents too, you know, uh, my age and a little bit older, you know. Um, I'm not trying to disrespect anybody or down anybody, but some of y'all need to get your shit together. So, this is just that, and we're about to talk about it. Um, first, what happened to Itty Bitty Spider, I Love You, um, Ring Around the Rosie, Peter Pepper, Pit to Peck of Pickle Peppers, um, kids songs. What happened to the kids songs nowadays? Um, I hear a lot of like four year olds coming up to me or, you know, at the store when I'm working and stuff and they're like, my neck, my back. And I'm like, wait, what the fuck? You four. Your neck and your back should not be hurting at all. You shouldn't have a damn thing in your book bag but a lunch. So, what the fuck are you talking about my neck and my back for? No. No, little nigga. No. And this other little girl came up and was singing Nicki Minaj talking about, I want a picture Frankie. Bitch. <laughs> okay. Why does your kid know Nicki Minaj, but she don't know her colors, shapes, or numbers yet? Explain that shit to me. Because... There's some questionable shit going on here. And for some of y'all parents who's watching this and getting pissed off talking about, oh, it's the teacher's fault. No. 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 It's your fault. You. 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 I put it in all three directions so you can't really avoid the nigga. Let me tell you, it is your fault. They're the teacher's not with them 24-7. Do shit with them at home. Help them enhance their life at home because no one else is going to do it if you don't. Um, I just don't understand why some of these parents are so dead set on letting their kid sing whatever they want and do whatever they want. When y'all need to keep an eye on your fucking kids. It gets so annoying sometimes working with the public when people don't watch their kids um you know once like the other day I was in the store you know doing my job and everything and this little girl was hanging on front of the cart like she was like one of them you know 
mermaids on a big ship and shit. And all of a sudden, the girl put her head down and spit on the floor. Like, what the fuck is you doing? You just gonna spit on the floor? And the mom pushing the cart ain't saying nothing. I don't understand why not. I would have dogged that little girl. I would have took off my belt and whooped her ass in the store. Now, I'm not condoling beating your kids. We all, I've talked to y'all about this before. I'm not condoling beating your kids. But a fresh ass whooping is needed at least weekly. You know, if they mess up, you need to whoop that ass. And real quick, for some of y'all who don't know, who haven't caught this on past videos... A whooping is with a belt, spatula, Hot Wheels track, hanger, a switch, any form of weapon. A spanking is with your hand. Now let's move on. Um, now, what else? Why is your kid running around a food court in the mall and shit? Like going to, like, I hate when you go out with your friends, and you go to get some food, and the little kid cut in front of you talking about, can I get a sample? No, you just had a sample from Burger King, Pizza Hut, McDonald's, Sakio Japan, the other stir fry 88, I'm not saying I know all of them, <laughs> I'm just naming a couple, <laughs> shit, don't judge me. Don't judge me, okay? Dang. But all I'm saying is, why is your little badass kid cutting me in line when I'm paying for my food, you not there, and your kid's asking for free shit? I don't understand that. Also, like, there's a store like Spencer's and shit. And, you know, sometimes, very rarely, they used to give away free stuff, like lanyards and, you know, stuff like that for like your keys and stuff so this one time this kid was like you know got a free lanyard and I saw him a little bit later and they're like you wanna buy this off of me like wait a minute wait 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 you got that free I got the same thing you did I was next to you when you got it and now you want me to buy it you tripping I'm gonna whoop that ass like you tripping I wish that was my kid I hate that bro I can't stand when, like, I can't stand when, like, your kid is there and, like, misbehaving when you, you can prevent it. Now, I'm, sa I'm not saying whoop your kids every single day, but I am saying timeouts, special places. Corners don't work. No, they don't. No. I, I, because as a kid, whenever my mom took something away, I just went across the street and used theirs. Are you going to take away my Xbox? I'm going to go across the street and play Xbox with them. Like, I really don't care. It's that That's not a big deal. So, I mean... Think about your punishments and how they really affect the kid. Now, if taking stuff away is like death to your kid, like, oh my god, I can't live without it. And that's what the fuck you need to do. But discipline your kids. Do something with them because when they get older and they don't have no discipline and they keep talking shit or they step on the wrong person's toes, alright, see what happens. When they get knocked the fuck out, I'm going to be waiting with my YouTube camera ready to put this bitch on the net. And I'm going to be getting my seven laughs in. Ha, 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 little nigga. You should have listened later. But, um, you know what else, you know, and, uh, you know what else gets me? Y'all ever been to Walmart and you know how they got those riding carts? And you see this little badass kid on, like, we was there the other day, and this little badass kid was on this riding cart, and this old lady was sitting there watching, waiting for it. Like, get your kid off the bitch, so this old lady with the cane, who has an air tank with her, can get on. 
Now, I know Walmart got seven of them motherfuckers, but maybe that's her special one. Maybe that's the only one she can see. Maybe something happened in that cart where she hit the lotto, and that's the only one she wants to ride. Who knows? But the fact is, your kid shouldn't be on it in the first place. Get their ass off the cart so other people can use them. I don't understand why that's such a big deal. And parents, 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 some of y'all need to quit getting mad when people say shit to your kids. In public, if uh, somebody else says something to your kids to stop doing something, or, you know, they shouldn't be doing this, they saying it because you're not brave enough to say it. Fly out. Yeah, you can be mad. You can change the channel if you want to. See somebody else's YouTube video. But I'm going to tell you how it is, nigga. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how you need to be told. Now, I don't know everything in the universe. I don't know anything. And I might do my, I might do stuff with my kids a little differently. But I know, the matter of fact is, I'm not going to lie to them little niggas. I'm not going to let them know, you know... I, I, so I asked people this before. I was like, you know, is it wrong to tell a little kid that Santa's not real? I'm not. And some of y'all might say I got this from Cat Williams or a comedian or whatever. But fuck that. I'm not going to lie to my little kid and be like, you know, somebody's buying you presents. No. I'm working 45 hours a week so I can get you that Tonka truck. You better be happy that I got that shit. No one else is getting credit for that. I am. Me. That might be selfish, but who cares? That's just the way I roll. Uh, you get it? Tonka truck roll. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> oh man! Um, we talked about this also. Yo, kid, bagging with me. Don't let your fucking kid bag with me. And I'm sorry for cussing, but y'all seen the explicit lyric box in the beginning. Don't let your kid bag with me. I'm sorry. But I don't need your five-year-old through ten-year-old helping me bag. Now, if I'm done with it and I push it to the side and you old enough to put it in the cart, that's perfectly acceptable. But don't let your little kid climb on the cart like it's a jungle gym, hop in that motherfucker, hop in the back, try to lift it up, talk about, I'm ghost riding the whip! No, it's not a whip. It's a cart that your parents are using the EBT card to fill it up with and... Second off, if y'all didn't get the gifts you wanted to, it's probably because your parents couldn't get it with the EBT card flat out. I'm going to start telling y'all that shit too. Like, your badass didn't get the gifts you want because your parents couldn't get it with EBT and you probably didn't deserve it, little badass. You need a whooping. Shoot. And why are your kids shopping with your EBT debit master cards? I know it's not all the same thing, but y'all know what I meant. Why is your kid shopping with your debit MasterCard? Tell me that. There's no reason why your kid should be coming in my store with a note saying it's okay for him to buy your 40. There's no reason. There's no reason why your kid should be coming in my store talking about he want that big pack of chew, that grizzly, wintergreen, fresh cut. No. There's no reason. I don't want to hear it. Little badass kids trying to buy lottery tickets. I told you, you have to be 18. Don't ask me what the fuck you scratch it with. You have to be 18. True story. Little badass kid bought some little lottery ticket. It was like, how you win? Like, you got to be 18. But what are you supposed to do to win? You got to be 18. But what are you scratching with? A fucking coin. But you have to be 18. I'm going to get my mama to do it. Is she 18? Mm -hmm. Damn. Can <clears throat> I ain't say nothing. I ain't say nothing. Forget y'all. If you ain't catch that, you shouldn't. Your kid is in elementary school. There's no reason they should be hanging around my store. From the time they get out.
to the time I get out. Why is your kid at my store? From 3 to 8. For fucking what reason? Why is your kid at my store? From 3 to 8. For what reason? Why are they buying cookies, pop, chips, bunions, bunions, pierogies, taking our whole bakery tray of goodies? Why? Why aren't they at home doing homework? Why aren't you watching your kid? These little bad kids come into my store every other day. Always ask me and other people I work with for money. And then try to dog somebody when they don't get it. You need a whooping. For the first time today. Now these kids have been coming in for about 3-4 months now. First time today. I saw their parents. Real talk. That's shitty. That's shitty parenting. Attention. Parent of them kids. If you are watching my video. You're a shitty parent. Back to it. Some of y'all over there is thinking about. I can't believe he just said that. Have you ever wanted to tell somebody that they're a shitty parent? Think about it. That's what I thought. I'm just saying, y'all. You know, there's I, I, I reached everything on the list. But I'm not trying to criticize everybody. And I'm not trying to dog everybody, putting anybody down. Watch your kids. Whoop they ass. Show them love. And let your kid be able to talk to you about anything. I'm going to be posting the video up here pretty soon. About the shooting that happened in Ohio. If some of these parents realized. That if you listen to your kid. And it actually helped your kid in different situations. Stuff like this wouldn't be happening. And I'm not blaming it at all. 100% on, on the parents. It is definitely the teachers. The school system's fault too. Because I know there's been times when I was a student. And I was being picked on and bullied. And I told the teachers. And they've actually said. Well what do you want me to do about it? It's your fucking job to do whatever you can. To stop these bullies. So, just do what you can, do your best, and realize your kid is our future. This is Turtle Tim. I'm out.